13 Loves Pets. More people are buying so-called designer dogs, but while demand for these crossbreeds has increased, so has disreputable breeding practices. Designer dogs have become very popular over the last several years. That's your Puggles, Pomskis, all the Doodles, and more. And sometimes these hybrids still end up at shelters. We've had Aussie Doodles, we've had Berna Doodles, Golden Doodles, Labradoodles, and none of them look the same. The highly coveted Golden Doodle is just one example of this designer dog craze. The idea behind it at its origin was to create the perfect service dog, to create the affability and sweet temperament of a golden retriever, but with the coat of a poodle, which is less allergenic only because it doesn't fall out in the environment. No coat is truly hypoallergenic. Designer dogs are bred with the intent of getting the best qualities of each purebred parent, but that's not always guaranteed. There's a lot of people out there who aren't working to better the breed. They're just, you know, breeding again to make money. Recently, 35 doodles were rescued from a puppy mill in Alabama and transported to West Michigan. The parents were used to breed litter after litter, the puppies selling for thousands of dollars. As you can see, uh, these, these adults, none of that money went into their care. They are in really rough shape. While the goal for a certain look or coat is the desired outcome, experts say temperament needs to be considered and health screenings are essential. We want to make sure that those breeding pairs that we're intentionally breeding for are healthy both both behaviorally and structurally. While these doodles are on their way to better lives, hundreds of thousands of mixed breed dogs remain in shelters around the country. These are not dogs that are, are broken because that is uh, an old thought with shelter dogs. Um, these are just dogs that you know, had some unfortunate circumstances and maybe some of them do need a little bit more specialized care, but they just, they need homes just like all the others. Unless a DNA test is performed, mixed breeds typically have unknown parentage, but they're no less deserving of a forever home. I think it's so much easier to see past their breed and look at the actual individual dog and that in turn makes the human and the dog more successful. You can find what you're looking for at a shelter or rescue, whether that's a purebred, a crossbreed or mixed, and you're saving a life in the process. If you need help finding your next furry friend and don't know where to start, we have a link to more information on our website, 13onyourside.com.